anything in here, do I? It's, uh, I just got done eating. For the first time, I, I usually shoot these before dinner. This time I'm shooting after. Just so I don't look, just so you don't hear my stomach growling while I'm making the video. It's, uh, I, I, I was actually offered food at work twice this week. In fact, twice in the same day. It's like, uh, because we're with the park service, we're not supposed to accept food from, you know, park patrons, but yeah, they offered me food, like, two separate people who've never met each other before offered me food in the same day. It's like, this guy was grilling hamburgers and asked if I wanted one. Then later on, I'm coming up the road and this guy who recognized me from cleaning the bathrooms earlier in the morning said, you had a long day, want a cherry? And it's just like, I would like a cherry, but I'm not supposed to have them. <laughs> and also, like, my hands are all dirty and I shouldn't be handling food while I'm on the job. So, yeah, but I'm just wondering, uh, do I look peaked? Do I look like I... Do I look half-starved or anything? I know I I don't have the neck roll that I was vainly worrying about last season, but... I, I don't think I've lost that much weight. I don't think I look gaunt. <clears throat> anyway, you might notice I've also got the little... H.C. Corbin thing going on around here. That's because I, I actually cut myself shaving and I thought, you know, I've never really grown out this part before. Like, even when I had the full beard, I would shave this bit out because it always bugged me. So, but now I'm experimenting with that look for some reason. And we'll see how long it takes till I get sick of it and just like, whack. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, let's talk about um, secondhand goods because I've already... I've already reviewed all the, the number two songs of 1955, and so far we have one absolute masterpiece and seven songs I will probably never listen to again. So, yeah, and <clears throat> I listened to the last one, which is, of course, that Gale Storm monstrosity. Oh, my God, that was painful. I hear you knocking. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I posted the review, which was really more of a rant. Because <clears throat> 1955, it's like most of those were whitewashed songs originally by black people. And the I did not expect it to, like, go from bad to worse like that. Because, oh my god, that was so horrible. But, yeah, I, I posted this long, ranty review about how awful Gail Storm's singing voice was. And what a travesty that version of I Hear You Knocking is. And um, Al's, uh, Al Badger, friend of the show, Al Badger, says, Oh, I ha I'll have to watch that when I get home. And I, no! It, if you'd actually read the review, in fact, if you've actually read all the reviews that I've read, that I've written, rather, that is not the song I want you to listen to! And uh, he says, what's that? It's like... <clears throat> A blossom fell from off a tree. And I'm not doing that song justice at all. Obviously, I know that. But, <clears throat> yeah, um, I've done a little scientific research. And, uh, mainly just from watching the YouTube, uh, timeline as I was wa watching that song, listening to that song, for the review purposes and 57 seconds that's how long it takes for nat king cole's voice to have an effect on the listener because i was just like la 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 there's something in my eye <laughs> oh and uh i really should i should probably ex expand the review of that because there needs to be more love for that song i mean my god i i was just moved by it I mean, I was literally just, you know, so emotionally taken with this song. But, um, yeah, the trombone solo. That serves a very specific purpose. <clears throat> because, you see, you kind of need to break it up a little. Because <laughs> if it weren't for that trombone solo, it would just be emotional torture of, you know... Nat King Cole singing this heartbreaking story in this that lush, velvety voice of his, and it would just be just emotionally overwhelming for the listener. So you kind of need to break that up, and you need to stick something in there. And they said, well, we got this trombone guy who's been dying to play a solo. Let's let him do that. And might I add that the trombone is a very underrated instrument. 
It's just like, I don't think we've heard that actually on a pop song in the top ten since I'm Coming Out by uh, Diana Ross. And what was that, 1980 or something? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, part of me wishes that I had the, you know, clout to make that a viral thing. Just make uh, A Blossom Fell by Nat King Cole a top ten hit all over again. But, you know, I'm just not that popular of an internet celebrity, so... But, yeah, if you could tell your friends about that song, then, I don't know, maybe we could get something going. Maybe we could get the ball rolling, and then suddenly uh, that could be a thing. I don't know. But, God, that song was gorgeous. I mean, it, oh, my God. I'm still just overcome. I'm still, I can't believe. I mean, I was expecting it to be good. I was expecting that song to be good because Nat King Cole, he's a pro. He's just like, he's a legend and blah, blah, blah. But I was not. I was not expecting it to be just, oh my god. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm beyond power of speech right now. But, yeah, uh, I should probably, uh, I actually do have something to taste for a change. It's nothing special. It's just uh, lemon kumquat juice. Eben kumquat lemon juice. It's a little confusing because it's, <laughs> it says lemon kumquat juice here. And it says kumquat lemon juice here. So, yeah, I expect this to taste uh, citrusy. Water, fructose, kumquat juice, 4.5% sugar, lemon juice concentrate, 0.5%. Antioxidants, sodium hydrorbate, flavor, citric acid, carbio carboxymethyl cellulose, and beta carotene, which is actually the Greek letter beta carotene. So, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, does it even say shake well? It just says made in Taiwan. But I'm shaking it well anyway. Because it's, it's fruity. Oh, and it does say E. Ben right on the top there. How did I not notice that? Anyway. So. Whoa, that does smell citrusy, all right. Yeah. Mmm. That's really tart and good. It says it's just from the juice, but I, I could swear there's some peel in there. It's probably because it's kumquat, and kumquats are really small, and they have a really concentrated uh, citrus flavor. Yeah. I don't know why there's, like, a lime with a lemon <laughs> inside. Or is that, like, a green lemon? I'm not sure. They, they don't even seem to have a kumquat on here, which is weird. Anyway. But, yeah, it's it's good. It's good and citrusy, so yeah, I think we'll just like leave it at that with me enjoying lemon kumquat juice. So see you around.